Welcome everyone to Sleepy Hollow, New York. I'm at the graveyard right now because I wanted to explain why we use this time-honored tradition of marking the dead and representing them with what we call tombstones or gravestones. The reason that we do this is thousands of years ago, during a time of our forgotten past and a history that has been all but deleted from our records, the ancient world had become petrified. And those beings that lived during that time, they turned into rock, they turned into stone, and they became one with the earth itself. Now the ancients knew this, so whenever they would come upon one of the standing stones, they honored it as a sacred rock or a holy rock which we see throughout our society as well, across the world. So, whenever we come to a graveyard and we see tombstones like this one right here, typically the dead are represented by the rocks. And this is directly related to that time in history when the inhabitants of the ancient world had all died because they became petrified. And so we continue that tradition of marking the place where someone died with a standing stone or a rock. Now for a lot of people, this might be the end of the road. And that's what we've been conditioned to think, is that we need to preserve the body, that we need to take care of it and put it into another box and put that box into the ground. And to build mausoleums and death houses and to take care of that body because we've grown so attached to that particular vessel. But the truth is, the only bodies that are preserved are those bodies that had been turned into stone during the petrification of our ancient past. Now, if we bury a body and put it into the ground, it dissolves and it becomes one with the earth. And I say it, not we. The spirit lives on, life goes on, and that's what life does. Life cannot die. Life continues and it continues to go on forever. Now those bodies that were petrified, I say that they were preserved, but what I really mean is that the genetic coding inside of the DNA had become preserved along with the petrification of the body. So those bodies that had been petrified have the coating for that particular vessel and that coating, if found, can live again. But it's only a vessel, that's only the body, that's only your avatar, that is what you live in, what you drive. Your spirit, your soul moves about. It chooses to go from place to place. It may be that even here in this graveyard, that you may have had body after body after body. And we continue to try our best to preserve those, uh, those avatars, those bodies. The good news is that this is not the end of the road at all. The path goes on road continues and you and I will continue our journey. We'll keep on experiencing and experiencing. This is all an illusion. It's something we've created for ourselves for temporary comfort out of a fear of something that doesn't exist called death. I want to thank you guys for joining me today at the graveyard here in Sleepy Hollow and I hope you got something from this video. See you next time.